Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about drug calculation of injection vasopressin using a syringe pump and the responsibilities of a nurse. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the session. Injection vasopressin comes under the group antidiuretic hormone and it is indicated in diabetes insipidus, shock, cardiogenic shock, sepsis, abdominal distension and abdominal radiological procedures, etc. Now, how does it come? Injection vasopressin comes in ampule forms with one ampule containing 1 ml which equals 20 units of strength. Looking into the dosage for infusion, the recommended infusion rate for vasopressin in adults ranges between 0 0.01 to 0 0.03 units per minute. How is vasopressin diluted for infusion? It is usually recommended for vasodilatory shock or septic shock for adults in intensive care unit and it's diluted in either 100 ml of normal saline or 50 ml of normal saline. 40 units that is 2 ampule is taken to dilute in 100 ml of normal saline and is given through infusion pump and 20 units that is 1 ampule is diluted in 50 ml of normal saline which is given through a syringe pump. Remember that 1 ml of solution contains vasopressin 20 units per ml. Let's get into the example. Doctor's prescription for injection vasopressin is 0 0.01 units per minute. Now. How to prepare the infusion? All we need is an infusion pump or a syringe pump, an IV set, a 50 ml syringe and the solution for dilution. And the comparable intravenous solutions for diluting injection vasopressin are either dextrose 5% or normal saline. A very important thing to always keep in mind is the presence of a good intravenous access line before beginning the infusion. The formula is desired dose multiplied by quantity multiplied by time in minutes divided by available dose which gives the ml per hour. Now the example reads 0 0.01 units per minute. Using a syringe pump, 20 units that is 1 ampule of vasopressin in 50 ml of normal saline. As per the formula, the desired dose here is 0 0.01, quantity will be 50, that is 20 units with normal saline, time in minutes will be 60 and available dose is 20. Applying all into the formula, we get the answer 1.5 ml per hour. The same example using an infusion pump for 40 units that is diluting 2 ampule in 100 ml normal saline. The desired dose will be 0 0.01, quantity is 100 that is 40 units with normal saline, time in minutes will be 60, available dose will be 40 and applying all into the formula we get the answer 1.5 ml per hour. Same as that of dilution in 50 ml. Here comes the rate of infusion for both forms of dilution that is 40 units in 100 ml normal saline and 20 units in 50 ml normal saline. If it is 0 0.01 units per minute the rate of infusion is 1.5 ml per hour. If the prescription is 0 0.02 units per minute, then the rate of infusion is 3 ml per hour. And if the prescription is 0 0.03 units per minute, then rate of infusion will be 4.5 ml per hour. Hence, the dilution varies whereas the rate of infusion remains the same for injection vasopressin. Let's look into the nursing responsibilities while administering injection vasopressin. Monitoring vital signs hourly during intravenous infusion, monitoring urine output and the specific gravity, assessing the patient for signs of chest discomfort and looking for signs of light threatening conditions. This is all about today's video regarding injection vasopressin administration using either infusion pump or a syringe pump and the nursing responsibilities. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.